hi there we go it's baby boss tarot okay guys um i'm doing a quick love reading for you all because over the next few days um i might not be able to do readings because i'm going to be concentrating on my fifth child who is having surgery tomorrow he is my disabled child he's got surgery on his eye um and so yeah i'm going to be concentrating on him um helping him heal um so uh, if you want to show a bit of support to my little man he is a Virgo. He was born September 6th, um, in 2019. Yeah, so if you want to show him some love, like, share, subscribe. You can leave him a little comment, if YouTube allows the comments to stay on. And um, I posted a video earlier about the new addition to the family. There is another little baby boss. It's not a not an actual baby, okay, guys? So that's not getting excited or anything. It is a kitten. We've got a little uh, a male kitten, and his name's Snowball. He's black and white. And I got him for my nine-year-old who has ADHD. We were hoping it would calm him down, and it's done the trick. And he is a very special new addition to the family. So go check out that video. Okay, Virgo. Okay. And also, guys, I, I am Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising, and soon I'm going to be doing a lot more Virgo reads. I will also be concentrating a lot more on Libra reads as well, because I have three Libra placements. As you all know, I am an Aries Taurus cusp. So, right, Virgo. Wow, okay, your cards are talking and I'm taking them all. So I might spend a little bit more time on your read. Okay, you got calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Stay optimistic about your love life. That positive thinking and faith that will bring you romance. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give, give and receive the highest energy of all. You got worth waiting for. Divine timing. Is it working your love life? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, but also pay attention to the red flags and signs are cautioning you. I'm hearing it's not a major red flag, but apparently this person's addiction is their red flag. That's what I heard, okay? Alright, let's get a bit more, um, a bit of an oracle for Virgo, please. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'll do one more shuffle. If I don't get anything, then I'll just go straight on to the messages. Is there a message for Virgo? Yes, there is, okay. Okay, you've got virtue. Your acknowledgement, sorry, your, you acknowledge... Maybe you need to acknowledge, yeah, I said acknowledgement, right? You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Okay, and you've got vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving just universe. Okay, go check out the Aries reading. They've got the same uh, two cards, but also um, this does resonate with me as well because of my Aries sun. Right. Right, messages for Virgo, please. This could be from your soulmate, your twin flame, your love interest, your ex, whoever. Let's just get some messages. Virgo, please. Messages for my lovely Virgos. Oh, I nearly couldn't talk then. Does somebody get choked up around you? It's like somebody can't speak when they're around you or they're not allowed to talk. I'm feeling like this person... I'm not feeling blocked in into the thing you two, but I'm kind of feeling that someone feels like they're not allowed to talk to you. I don't know what this is, but I feel your energy even when we are apart. I am sending mixed signals because I am not sure what or who I want, you or my ex back. I keep checking your social media accounts, someone's spying on you. We need to talk about many things before we move forward together. I cannot choose you for various reasons. Yeah, you see, that's why I was kind of getting choked up. This person feels like they cannot talk to you. They cannot choose you for various reasons. They, they're getting stuck. They're getting blocked. Okay. Uh, you are overthinking this. I just want a fuck buddy. All right, now I'm feeling two different kind of energies. I am coming up with an excuse to contact you. Hey, isn't it your birthday soon? So you could get a message on your birthday from this person. All right, let's just get you a bit more clarity. Okay, uh, a bit more clarity for Virgo, please. Who are they dealing with? 
Okay, it could be an Aries Leo, Sag, could be a Gemini. Oh, yeah, see, this person has. They're waiting for the ships to come in. They need to make a choice between you and, and their ex, with the lovers being here. It is soulmate energy, but it's also. It is a choice. This is somebody from your past. Uh, you do know them. You can, this person is spying on you. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Six of Pentacles. They want an equal give and take. They expect a passionate communication, kind of rushed passionate communication. So this person wants a new beginning with you. This is also a pregnancy card as well, so watch out for that. If you are a childbearing age, if you don't want children, put something on the end of it. So you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, and Cancer. So, and I'll just get you a bit more clarity there. Somebody needs to get their knee checked out, Virgo. Okay, I just heard someone needs to get their knees checked out. Or somebody may have an accident. Alright, uh, Virgo, a bit more clarity for who this person is that you're dealing with. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it could be a Capricorn, or they have Capricorn in their Saturn and Jupiter placement. It could be a Libra. Um, or somebody with Libra and a Jupiter or Saturn placement. Okay, right, so, Virgo, that was your reading, my loves.